We've kind of discussed and reviewed the, the three categories. We're getting into that second category, that combination nozzle or that fog nozzle. The, uh, the thing that really makes it a fog nozzle or a combination nozzle is the ability to go from the straight stream to the wide fog. They, you know, industry standard is all the way to the right straight stream, all the way to the left wide fog. So that becomes real important. It doesn't matter what type of nozzle, what type of combination nozzle you pick up. You pick up and you have the ability to, to know and understand that without reviewing it. That's part of, uh, that's part of background and basics. The combination nozzle has to be sized to match the uh, flow of the hose line you're using it on. So that means that not every nozzle is interchangeable with every size hose line. Although they all might have inch and a half coupling on them, you can't take a nozzle that's meant to be used for inch and a half and put it on a two inch hand line. So when we're looking at flow and capability of flow out, the, out of a combination nozzle, up to about 125 gallons a minute is really designed to be utilized uh, for inch and a half hose. Up to about 200 gallons, 225 gallons a minute roughly uh, is gonna be used or, or has the capability of being used on inch and three quarter hose. And then once we go to two inch and two and a half, obviously our flows are gonna increase two inch potentially up to 275 gallons, 300 gallons a minute. And once we go with the two and a half inch combination nozzle, you're looking at flows potentially over 300 gallons a minute. So generally speaking, these nozzles, the combination nozzle operates at one of three pressures. It's either a uh, 100 pounds nozzle operating pressure, 75 pounds nozzle operating pressure, or uh, some of some manufacturers have a emergency or low pressure operation that usually is either a 50 or 60 pound operation. Generally speaking, when we're talking about nozzle reaction in, in correlation to uh, those 100 pound combination nozzles, our nozzle reaction is generally about half of our uh, flow or half of our volume. So if we're, our flow is 200 gallons a minute, our nozzle reaction is gonna be give or take 100 pounds. It's a good rough estimate of having an idea of particularly when you're trying to educate somebody who uh, may be new to the department or something like that, of what, what kind of workload they're gonna, uh, is gonna be entailed on the end of that hose line. <clears throat> when we start talking about the types of combination nozzles, it's pretty wide and varied. But once again, I'll, I'll reference IFSTA and say, IFSTA classifies three major types of combination nozzles that are being produced and out on the market. The first is a selectable gallonage nozzle. Uh, the second is the automatic nozzle, combination nozzle, and then the third would be the constant gallonage combination nozzles. They, all the manufacturers offer all three types. They all, they all manufacture them, and they, they offer those types in a wide array of application and customization features. I mean, when you start looking at the capability, we have colored everything from colored handles to colored bumpers to colored bales to, to uh, make identification easier for, for whatever you might use it on. Lighter weight materials and, and materials engineering to help reduce the overall workload of the hose team. And they offer them obviously in various flow options. You know, one of the things that you might consider doing is, is getting with your local representative, your local manufacturer and asking them, are there new technologies as, as it correlates or relates to nozzles out there that, that will give us higher flow, lower overall back pressure, give us the capability to reduce the workload of the nozzle team and, and increase the efficiency of what we're doing on, our, on the street with our first in engine company operations.